How can you improve team performance if you don't even measure it? In this video, I'll walk you through the Spotify SWOT Team Health Check, show you how to run it for free in the agile software tool Echometer, and share six tips on how to improve the format, which is worth it because did you know that Spotify themselves don't even use their model anymore? We'll dive into that shortly. But now, let's get started. Originally developed by Spotify's engineering teams, the Squad Health Check is a simple visual tool that helps agile teams reflect on how things are going. Each team member gives red, yellow or green responses to 11 specific questions. The questions cover delivery, tech quality, collaboration and so on. And you can run the health check for free in the Echometer Team Retrospective tool. Echometer has the Spotify Health Check template with the 11 questions pre-configured and grouped into four categories. The first category is delivery. The first question, we get stuff done really quickly, no waiting, no delays. So in the Echometer software, the idea is now that everyone in the team replies to this question on a scale from one to seven. This adds nuance beyond just green, yellow or red dots. Because the awesome part is that after that, the distribution of the replies is anonymously visualized like this. There are persons that agree and disagree. You can get a score and then you can reflect. What could explain dissatisfaction or depending on how good your results are, maybe why are you so successful? Okay, the second question of the Spotify health check is this. Our way of working fits us perfectly. And the last one in the delivery category, we deliver great results. We are proud of it and our stakeholders are really happy. In my experience, most teams tend to respond positively overall, but there are usually one to three questions of these 11 that strike a chord. These are the areas where thoughtful follow-up questions can uncover most valuable insights. We'll get to that later. Okay, next category is tech. We are proud of the quality of our code. It is clean, easy to read and has great test coverage. And the second question, releasing is simple, safe, painless and mostly automated. That one is hard to get right. After that comes the category organization. We are in control of our destiny. We decide what to build and how to build it. And the second question in this category, we know exactly why we are here and we are really excited about it. Obviously, just to underline this, these statements describe aspirational goals, an ideal state to strive for. It's perfectly normal if your team isn't there yet. The value lies in identifying where you are today and what steps to take next. Okay, the last category is on team with overall four health check items. We love going to work and have great fun working together. We always get great support and help when we ask for it. We are a totally geld super team with awesome collaboration. And the last one, we are learning lots of interesting stuff all the time. All right, now you know the core of the Spotify health check. But as I mentioned, there are a few things you have to take into account when doing this with your agile team. Firstly, on the Spotify model in general, which is basically used as an alternative to the scaled agile framework in some uh, companies, it is not being used anymore by Spotify. Jeremiah Lee, a former Spotify employee, revealed that the Spotify model wasn't really adopted internally the way it was promoted externally. According to his blog post, Paid Squad Goals, the model lacked consistency and caused confusion across teams. So the catchy diagrams became more famous than the real working practices. That's why Spotify eventually stopped using the model and why we also should question the Spotify health check itself. I have a few tips for you that should solve this. Tip number one, focus on one area at a time. Trying to improve all areas at once is pretty hard. That's why Ecometer recommends this structure with four categories, so you can focus on one area like team or check. And you can focus on continuous improvement in small baby steps then, as any organizational psychologist, which I am, would recommend in such, in such uh, change processes. Tip number two, make it regular. So don't do it just once. Make the health check a regular part of your retrospectives, for example, of your existing routines and not a yearly thing. Because a big part of the value of the Spotify health check is seeing trends, seeing your team's improvement success in, in numbers. Tip number three, async survey. To save time and make discussions more focused, consider sending out the Spotify health check uh, questions asynchronously as a short survey before the meeting. This allows team members to reflect in advance. And yes, even that you can do with the Echometer software, both remotely or on site. Tip number four, use it across multiple teams. Improving your own team is a great start, but to become a truly impactful team leader, aim to spark change across teams. You can do that by introducing the Spotify health check questions um, consistently in every team. This sets the stage for meaningful discussions during Scrum of Scrum meetings, for example, or any organizational level uh, reflections. Once again, Echometer even lets you do that and afterwards, you can visualize the results, for example, in such radar charts, as you can see here, to see how it replies have developed over time. If you want, you can see results on the team by team basis in a heat map even. 
One important note here though, while the single team version is free, cross team health checks require a paid plan in Ecovita. Tip number five, dig deeper when answers are too positive. If you feel like the discussion on a specific item gets boring, in your next Agile retrospective, use questions that go even deeper. For example, let's say the reply to, we love going to work and have great fun working together, doesn't generate any interesting insights. As a psychologist, I would say zoom deeper, potentially on a behavioral level. So two alternative health check items could be checking psychological safety, for example, by using the health check item, I can freely suggest ideas in my team without them being talked down immediately. Or be very specific, I have enough room for breaks in which I can draw new energy. There are many more science-based questions like this in the team health check uh, library of the Echometer software. Okay, let's get to tip number five, predicting the average score. Before showing the aggregated results, one thing you could try is asking each team member to guess the team's overall sentiment. This reveals gaps in perception and creates powerful moments of self-reflection. Tip number six, ask good follow-up questions. I have four specific recommendations for you. Is this score a reflection of the last sprint or more of an ongoing pattern? If you could change one thing to improve us, what would it be? What's working particularly well that we should double down on? And this is my favorite question. Can you give an example that explains your reply? It is so much more valuable to talk about specific situations and examples. All right, you should have a good overview now how to conduct this Spotify health check. I've actually recorded a step-by-step -step guide for setting up the Spotify health check in the Echometer tool. You can find a link to it right here and also in the video description. And obviously there's also a link to the Echometer software in there. Let me know in the comments if you've tried the health check and what your experience have been. Really would love to hear it. If you sense that your team members aren't opening up fully or that your motivation is lacking, there's likely untapped potential in your leadership approach. Our YouTube channel is packed with agile leadership insights and practical training to help you unlock that potential. Subscribe now and I'll see you there.